All right, so we're back with another video. We got a big hood. Let's let's try to do the lights by itself. What kind of lights? What kind of vehicle do you guys know? People know their lights. It is a Audi. I've probably seen the Quattro in there. It's an Audi uh, Q7. Got the black. Got the big Brambo brakes. I like this vehicle. The interior is nice, but that little screen that pops up from there, I don't care for it too much. They get on bigger. Uh, but I do like the sunroof. Look at that roof. I think he's got a grill too that he's doing mesh. Uh, but with this time of year, I'm not messing with the grills because there's so many bumper clips and stuff like that to mess with. Quattro. This customer bought a couple of sets of wheels from me. The Q7s. I was looking at these when I was looking for my wife's truck. I don't know. I like still the BMW better. The X6. It's got a kind of sleek design on there. And what we are going with, we're going with the BAM! We got some replica Q7 uh, wheels here. These are 22s uh, with a 285 3522. It's the black with the machine. Got the original Audi logos. All right. So, what do you guys think? Let's put them on there, paint the calipers, and check it out and go from there. So, stay tuned. All right. So, we're back with the Audi Q7, the Quattro, and bam! Look at those. The replica, the black with the machine face. Look at the concave on this wheel too. Beautiful. The red calipers, we got the black inside the rotor. So these are all wheel drive, so they are 22 by 10s. And we did do a 285 3522 so you got the wider look so it's nice and flush with the wheel wells anthony appreciate the business he bought a couple of sets uh, how many sets did you buy five six or so four or five four yeah. or five. Oh, okay got it again, my friend. <laughs> appreciate that Absolutely. yeah and we go the extra mile i actually picked these up from his house and we put on the tires and i'm going to drop off his original wheels to him too so uh, he's a preferred customer, so not everybody come to me, I'm going to be dropping off stuff because I only do it certain times, but... It looks fantastic. I love it. Yeah, big difference, right? How the red calipers, you don't want to paint it, right? I think the red sticks out, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you went with You talked me into the red, and I love it. These Audis always, because how, how big it is to how, how good it looks on there with the red. We even took off the where, the, uh, where you bleed the brakes, and we put the caps back on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? It gives a car a whole different look. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned, and he's going to be getting a different grill on there, too. Uh, mesh style. I think the mesh, it's a complete. Absolutely. Complete, right? Yeah. Yeah, ENG used to make a couple of grills. I used to mess with the grills, but there's too many clips and everything in these cars nowadays that it's. Actually, what did you say? You need a special tool, right? You got to get a special tool in order to get the, uh, the grill off. You so get the whole bumper. The whole so it's bumper. quite a project, but I think it'll be worth it. The honeycomb grill that'll really set it off with the wheels. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's pull it. Oh man. Oh. All right. So we're back with the Audi Q7, and we got bam. So we got the replicas on there. Got the nice red calipers with the black rotor in the middle. And we got uh, these are 22 by 10s with a 285 3522. We got the Venom Ragnarok uh, tires, nice performance tire. Usually switch out his wheel, so this is more of a summer tire. We got the 22 by 10s in the rear. 
Anthony, appreciate the business again. Hey, thank you. Uh, you got it again, man. This is our fifth set, and I'll be back again. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep, yep. So we actually stopped by his house to pick up these wheels, and then uh, we put the tires on there, and I'm going to drop off the original ones. So everybody in the comments, uh, don't think, or everybody that's watching this video, think I'm going to be doing it for everybody. So it's put, uh, that red pops the caliber. The red, that yep. Yeah, see how the deep, nice concave? And the picture, you can't see this wheel with the deep concave. Now when you see it in person, you can see the deep concave. So it's the original style wheel, except in a 22. He had 21s on there. Yep, so he's got a grill also he's going to be doing, right? You wanna... Yep, I'm going to do the honeycomb grill. It's going to uh, be put on next week. Uh, we had to wait for a special tool. It's quite a project. You have to drop the whole bumper. But it's going to give the truck a really nice look with these wheels. There you go. Yep, the honeycomb full full uh, hole replacement on there. You want to do a sneak peek on there, or is it open or no? Uh, I didn't open it. It's oh, you want to open it? I'll bring it back and we'll bring it. Okay, we'll, then we'll do the we'll video do with the. Session with yep. Absolutely. All right, so let's get some driving footage of the Audi pulling out. Comment section on the Audi Q7. You guys like it? Don't like it? I think it looks mean on there. Very nice. You're right. It sparkles when it's spinning. When it's spinning, yeah. <laughs> Those yeah thank you. Appreciate it. Anthony. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. So stay tuned for more builds. <laughs> All right. So we're back with another video. And today's agenda we have Big Hood. A Cadillac, what kind of Cadillac? Cadillac Escoy. And we got, bam, we got the Du Bois wheels. Uh, we did these a couple years ago. Um, it's black with the machine with the red ring around there. Um, he is just getting tires. Uh, the 285 45 22 Lexani 30s. Look how clean this truck is. I think it's like an 04 or 05. Got the nice red stripe. I think we also did his LED tail lights here. So he is going with uh, new tires on here and uh, we are gonna touch up his calipers. And then uh, I guess he changed his rotors. So it's been a couple years. I think he probably sold these about 10 years ago, maybe even more. The Du Bois wheels uh, actually Funny story on these, uh, Prestige made these wheels for um, actually the owner of Rucci and he uh, made a name brand for Du Bois on there. So small story on there. So 
Let's put the tires on there, clean them up, and paint the calipers and see how it looks. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so we're back with the Cadillac Escalade, and bam! So we got the, the boy wheels, we got the brand new tires on there, 285 45 22. Uh, he decided to go with the same tires. He liked the thread design. It is kind of that aggressive, directional, more performance tire. When I was actually taking off, this is the first that ever happened. The hub ring that's in between actually just cracked off completely. <laughs> so I guess it was just brittle and just from old. Like I said, I think he got these wheels about 8 or 10 years ago. Maybe not even more. So we touched up his caliper on there. We actually even touched up his wheels. Uh, he had a couple of uh, scratches on the black. So we touched it up for him. Usually if the customer buys them from us, we usually do that deal for them. No charge on the touch-up as they scrape the wheel to a certain extent. <laughs> we got him on there. Maybe we'll get some driving footage of the customer. It's Saturday, I'm here by myself. So let's see how it goes. What do you guys think of the Deboy 22 inch on the Escalade? Look here. This thing's pretty clean for the year. All right. What up, everyone? We're back with another video. And today we have this Chevy. What kind of Chevy? This is a Silverado. Not only a regular Silverado, but a Dually. And we got. Bam! We got the Forgiatos, the Dura. Uh, these are the twisted uh, Maglias. Uh, it is the conversion from the 8 to the 10 lug. It's got the 37, 13 and a half, 26 Venom tires. Got the big cap. Got the big dually wheels here look at that side of that lip these are brush gold uh, with the black got the big cap on there this is the xt tire so you hear a little bit of noise but not as loud as the other one what do you guys think in the comments section this is big dually with 26s these are 26 by eight and a quarter all the way around Appreciate it. What do you guys think of the dually? 26 is too big, too small. I think that's just right on there. We did a couple of 24s. I like actually the 26 is better. All right, so stay tuned for more builds. All right, so we're back with another video. And on today's agenda, we have back the Lincoln. Which Lincoln? We have the Navigator. And we do have it back with the, uh, the Ruchis. So we got a new camera too. So, uh, so on these Ruchis, um, they actually cut the wheels wrong. And um, there's the hub stuck out in the back. So um, we put a regular spacer inside there. So we now have to do a hub centric spacer because the customer is having uh, issues with uh, vibration. So uh, I'm going to show you how the spacer works. Um, actually, we'll take one off. Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how the spacer and what caused the vibration and go from there. All right, so we're back with the Lincoln Navigator. We got one, the front wheels off. We're going to rebalance all of them to make sure. And we have the rear. So we're going to take it off and I'm going to show you the difference why we have to run a spacer on there. They did cut the wheels wrong, so Ruchi does want to know for future references when they do another Lincoln Navigator so they know to make the offset a little bit more on there. It still is flush, so let me show you. Oops. 
So um, I didn't have a hub centric spacer when we got the the wheels, so I had to use one of our regular spacers. So basically, what happened? This hub is too far out here, so that's why we needed to put the spacer because the cap wouldn't uh, uh, be flush on there. Some other objects that I could do, I could cut the bolt, but I mean it's a hundred thousand dollar truck. You don't want to cut the bolt on a truck like this. So this is a regular universal spacer, so you could see all the different holes, and that brings it out so it clears the hub on that wheel. So uh, we had to order, these are called hub-centric spacers. So the hub-centric spacer uh, basically fits flush, so it's kind of like the wheel that's on there. So see there, here's the hub, and it fits flush, so you get no vibration, uh, no nothing on there. So we're going to put those on there, make sure everything's perfect, um, rebalance the wheels. so. I'm just going to bring it out a little so it kind of looks almost staggered on there. But uh, stay tuned and we'll see it. Um, I did do this vehicle a while ago and then he had that issue so he didn't have a chance. He, has, uh, he does a lot of uh, work so he, it's hard to, with his different schedules. But let's get it. Okay. All right, so stay tuned.